Tahakanda brada basu duru bula brada papa pasikan tahaka brada lapa sunda lapa. And crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him, crown him. And crowning him, Lord, oh, 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 worship the King. Oh, worship the King, oh, glorious heaven, oh, joyfully sing his The shield and defender, the ancient of days, pavilion in splendor, and gathered we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you for this evening. The presence of the Lord is, is here. I can sense that already. Um, let us have our seat this evening so that we can just get into what we want to get into so that we can now do the real thing at the end of the service, at the end of the message. Now today is a miracle service and uh, meaning that the Lord has um, intended for us to release. And you know, remember something that God doesn't prepare for miracle services. How many of you know that? <laughs> he doesn't prepare. So it's not like you need to give him like three days notice <laughs> so that he can fast and pray. <laughs> it is we that fast and pray. <laughs> In other words, there may be miracles or things that naturally will be your due in the next one, two, three years. But by an act of God, He will release it this evening. Okay, that's that. This evening, you know, when the reason why we call it the, that name is to create an expectation in our hearts. Okay? We call it by that name so that we can have an expectation. An expectation is so powerful in the realm of the spirit. Okay? So, I want to continue from where I stopped last week. What gave back to these two um, services was the word of the Lord that came to me. Um, Zechariah's, I was, you know, I describe the circumstances. I usually like to describe how, how the word of the Lord comes to me. In Zechariah 4, 1 to 6, I think I was um, in a time of separation unto the Lord and the Lord opened my eyes and I saw that written in a vision. And um, I opened it and it was a um, an amazing piece of scripture. Zechariah 4, 1 to 6. Let's go there. That is the foundation for this um, miracle services. That's the word of the Lord unto us in this time we we'll live, in this time we're in. Now, this was Zechariah. Zechariah was one of the prophets who, along with um, Haggai, prophesied during the rebuilding of Jerusalem. And um, Jerusalem had been under captivity for 70 years, and Cyrus issued a decree. Uh, that was prophesied. Uh, Cyrus was prophesied 150 years before he came. Uh, and um, a decree went out from Cyrus that he, people should go back, whoever wants to go back to build Jerusalem. So Zerubbabel was the leader of the first batch of people. And Zerubbabel was the governor, and Joshua, the son of Josadak, was the high priest. And as they went, they began to build, and then opposition arose, the building had to stop. So although he was, he was 
everything they were taking hmm, although their actions were bettered by prophecy yet they encountered opposition i mean uh, what prophecy could have been more accurate than 70 years the 70 years of jeremiah i mean that, uh, i mean that was as classic as prophecy can be i mean they referred to it that was a prophecy that daniel saw but i daniel understood by books that desolation of jerusalem was supposed to last only 70 years okay so um and daniel moved and began to pray so you you find out that although those guys were in the center of the will of god they were they were backed up by prophecy on all sides in fact cyrus remember cyrus isaiah prophesied about cyrus 150 years before cyrus was born he mentioned the name cyrus in isaiah 45 he said i have called you by the name cyrus even though you don't know me by name i have anointed you you know even though he was a hidden king you know so and um so there was prophecy but then there was opposition so let me tell you something the fact that you are in the will of god does not mean you won't encounter opposition i think you need to being in the will of god does not equate with ease You, you, I mean, you would have meant that ah, ah, this thing, Jeremiah, don't talk. Him. I mean, Isaiah said it. I mean, everybody has said it. So, I mean, let's just go there and cross leg and just build. There are angels everywhere. As what Paul says, by prophecy, according to the prophecies that have gone ahead of you, that by them you might war. So, when you are on the line of the will of God, when you are in line with the word of the Lord, prophecy is, thus say the Lord. So whether thus say the Lord or it, it is written. When you are aligned with the will of God, spoken or written, and you come, you encounter opposition, what do you do? You contend. You enforce your victory. Greater is he that is in us. Yes. Yeah. And Bible says, whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. So, another king arose and issued a decree. So sometimes it looks as if your, mir- your ongoing miracle can come to a place where it is put on pause. How many of you have ever had that experience? As if, you know what i Miracle has been progressing, progressing, progressing. Then it comes to a place as if they just press pause. That's exactly where Zerubbabel and Zechariah, I mean, and Joshua. So the work of the temple ceased completely. Now, that was the temple of God, not the temple of man. Then, and when God wants to revive, he will see saying, because God doesn't act outside of his word. He will, the Bible says he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. So when God wanted to revive that work again, he still sent prophets again. Joshua, I mean um, Haggai and Zechariah. The book of Haggai is, is, so, is so interesting. Look, look at Haggai. Haggai 1 how a guy roused them back to action with some very, very interesting descriptions. In the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first of the month, the word of the Lord came by a guy, the prophet, to Zerubbabel, the son of Sheltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoshadak, the high priest, saying, Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, These people say the time has not come. <laughs> <laughs> Are you understand me? Because you know, because of the opposition, they had adjusted to the opposition. Listen, do not adjust from your prophecy. Do not adjust from the word of the Lord that has come to you. These people had adjusted by a thermostatic mechanism to the opposition. In other words, they adjusted and and were like, look, I mean, 
let's just you understand know, the i mean you understand know, the, the 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 king had issued a, a decree don't do this don't do that don't do that they just adjusted they said no 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 you see what this is showing us is that the time has not yet come so until those two prophets arose and, you, and you, if you read in ezra the the building was in a limbo until they then they rose up so these people says the time has not yet come now these were people who were moved by prophecy now these people when people have no me repute they had left the comfort of babylon and traveled all the way back to israel to not everybody left babylon But these were people who were moved by the word of God. You see, when that decree came, they were roused up. The Bible says, everyone in whom spirit was dead, they arose and went with Zerubbabel. But because of opposition, they had conditioned themselves to their obstacle. Don't get used to your mountain. Don't see your mountain as reality. And you see, don't adjust your reality. Let your reality be defined by the word of prophecy. Let your reality be defined by the word of God that is written. So that says the Lord, this people says the time has not come. The time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the word of the Lord, so that was the state they were in. Adjusted, fully adjusted. Then the word of the Lord came by, he guided the prophet saying, is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses? And this temple to lie in ruins. I know there was legitimate excuse. You know why? Because there was a decree preventing them from doing that. And then an official decree. Now therefore thus says Lord, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat but do not have enough. You drink but are not filled with drink. You clothe yourselves but no one is warm. And he who earns wages earns wages to put in the bag with holes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build the temple that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. You know, and on and on, you know, he, he kept on you know, describing what. So, as this prophecy came, if you go to Ezra, let's, 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 let's just, so I can just, because, listen, anything you're reading, Ezra, Haggai, and Zechariah, they are together. Is the same, <laughs> they're written about the same time. Actually, the first half of Ezra. So, if you go to Ezra, I'll be Ezra 5. So then, you know, if you, if you look at um, Ezra 4, verse 24. Thus the work of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem, ceased. And it was discontinued until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Okay? So that was the limbo. Then 5 verse 1, Then prophet Haggai and Zechariah, the son of Edo, prophets prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. So Zerubbabel, the son of Sheltiel, and Jeshua, the son of Josadak, rose up and began to build. So when Zikar, when Hegai gave them that word, you know what I read in, in Hegai chapter one, and what we're going to read in Zechariah's, you see, when they gave that word, Bible says the people rose up. Let me tell you about rise up. So when they received the word, they rose up, and they began to build. Now, they began to build without official permission. In other words, they began to defy the king's order. And now it says, and the prophets of God were with them, helping them. I'm interested in that vocabulary, helping them. How were the prophets helping them? By carrying block. Lifting, <laughs> lifting panel. The prophets of God were with them, helping them. Wow! By speaking the words of the Lord, I can't find out that. Listen, in the 
atmosphere where the word of the Lord is always coming forth is an atmosphere where you can build. The word of the Lord coming forth creates the environment where you can build. So as they were prophesying, they were building. They were prophesying, they were building. And go to Ezra 6. That's why we're always prophesying. Because as we prophesy, you will build. As we speak and declare, you will build. Look at verse 14, 6 verse 14. So the elders of the Jews built and they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. In other words, the commandment of the God of Israel was going to be put on pause. So the God of Israel sent them prophets. You know, I was you know one of the things we believe so strongly and every time I have the opportunity to say it, I say is in the supremacy of the word of God as written. Do you understand? Is supreme above everything, every as in above every other thing. In other words, our first love and first devotion. Because if you don't have that mindset, launching into the supernatural is a dangerous exercise. The supremacy of the word of God. In other words, the word of God must be given place above every other thing. As it is written. But I say that to say this. The prophetic is a dimension. I've been thinking about the prophetic of, of late. The prophetic is a dimension that helps, that opposes, it cuts short, it cuts away time, it breaks through distance, it breaks through, you know, um, it operates as if we are in eternity now. So something can be 10 years ahead. But prophetic perception can release it into the now. I remember I was watching, I showed this to my wife, the, I just come across something very interesting stuff on YouTube. I was watching the ministry of uh, Apostle Maldonado. Um, how God took them um, when they were little and uh, got their first property, a Jewish synagogue, got the second property, got the third property, you know, and uh, and amazingly, <laughs> in the whole process of growing and growing and growing, what I was showing about their history was the different prophets that God sent their way to prophesy their next level. Should when they were small and without anything, and one will come. And you know, in these days, when we, have to, when we have prophets, we have to put caveat. Because, you see, there are wolves in sheep clothing. <laughs> so that does not mean you should go and open your ears and listen to everything and anything. <laughs> so, now, you know, the current property, massive, expansive property, came by word of prophecy from three different people one of them a lady up to the location of where the land was going to be after that prophecy they went to start looking for the land the address of the land was in the prophecy and you know it came that it would be built the word of prophecy that it would be built depth free 
it will be you know i mean it, it was it was refreshing just to see different accurate people okay uh, because one of the things of an accurate is is lifestyle because by their fruits you will know them mm-hmm. so but accurate people awarded and balanced people speaking the word of the lord and as as it, as it was happening in fact they will say the next chapter as we are about to settle in this building the prophets began to speak again you know and then you know and then they were just building they were just building and they were just building and the money was just coming i remember seeing one one you know because it's a hispanic church and um, you know I, I like to study history you know contemporary history i just bought a book the other day 20 Pentecostal pioneers in nigeria i mean i just because uh, you have to study history so you don't become history <laughs> so now the the guy was preaching just like this and don't see a vision you see i'm seeing some words <laughs> but he didn't understand p a g a d o and then the person interpreting in spanish said those words are is pagado and pagado means paid wow. <laughs> So this guy doesn't understand Spanish. The person prophesying, <laughs> but <laughs> that's what he, he was saying. So I, I, I see, eh, I see that is what the the this on the prophet, and that's why the devil attacks it so much. So you could see that when they were in limbo, God sent them prophets again, and that's why that's the only give that in old and new testament they wish everybody is is, is working in it. Moses said, I wish all the sons of God were prophets. Paul says, desire the best gift, but especially that you may prophesy. It's so important. And that's why it's available for everybody. Because in a moment of discouragement, God has given him the tongue of the learned that he may know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. So they prospered to the prophesying of a guy. And Zechariah son of Edo. And they built and finished it. You know one of the words that came to say Zerubbabel. The hands of Zerubbabel laid the foundation of this house. And his hands will finish it. What, what foundation your hands have laid by the hands of by, by prophecy. Your hands will finish it. So, it's so important, the Bible says, we are built on the foundation of apostles and prophets. Jesus himself being the chief cornerstone. So, what we are awakening this night is that spirit of prophecy. Because when the spirit of prophecy is unleashed, totally unle- unleashed, I'm telling you the possibility. You know, I told you what the Lord said to me. That when a prophet comes into town, he comes in with possibilities. <laughs> and he's, he comes in with You see all those angels surrounding Elisha and Elijah? They are carrying possibilities. <laughs> so when Elisha says, give that one food to eat, set it before a hundred men, food for twenty men, they supply the difference. <laughs> you know. So that's why we can't throw away what is our advantage. We can't throw away what is our advantage. What we desire is that God even continues to strengthen and strengthen and strengthen that you know, prophetic depth in the church as a whole and in the church locally. In, see, that's, that's what you should pray. The Bible says, believe the Lord your God shall be established and believe 
the prophets and you and you know sometimes out of the mouth of babes and sucklings he will ordain strength because he will he can bring a prophetic word out of, out of the mouth of anybody So the elders of the Jews built. So folks, this is the time to build. Whatever, whether in your career, in your business, in your family, in, in, in whatever way, ensure that you are arisen and you are building something. Be pregnant with the prophetic word. I've said that to us before. I mean, be pregnant with the prophetic word. Let there be a word you are running with that is specific to you. Are you saying me? It is important because we cannot afford. Now we need to be covering ten thousand kilometers in the time people are covering one thousand kilometers. So we cannot afford not to be running with the word. I mean, you, we cannot afford not to be running with what God has spoken to you. You understand? If you are running generally, you are wasting time. So there must be a word. I mean what the word of God is. And they built and finished it according to the commandment of the God of Israel. Are you saying you will finish it according to how it has been commanded you? Are you saying that's why you must have the command? In other words, we must be carriers of his command. We cannot afford to be going commandless. So we must be bearers. I am doing this thing because this is the word that has prompted. Or as I was doing it, this is the word of the Lord that was released to me. You know, I've always known something. I don't like to do things for which I don't have any backing from, from on high. And as a prophetic people, we must, whether through the written word, whether through in your place of study you are inspired, whether a witness in your spirit, whether there must be, you must be running with. It's like, let, let me do something. If you run a relay race without batting, are you going to get a prize? I, I mean, you're just going to waste energy. So don't run without the word. I mean, get the word and then run with it. Let me tell you about get the word and run with it. So if you go to Zechariah, four verse one to six. Now the angel who talked with me came back and wakened me as a man who is waking out of his sleep. So I came here this evening with possibilities, just to remind you. Possibilities. As a man who is waking out of his bed, and he said to me, what do you see? So I said, I am looking and there is a lampstand of solid gold with a bowl on top of it. And on the stand, seven lamps with seven pipes with the seven lamps. Two only threes are by it. One at the right of the bowl and the other at his left. So I answered and spoke to the angel who talked with me saying, what are these, my Lord? Then the angel who talked with me answered and said to me, do you not know what these are? And I said, no, my Lord. So he answered and said to me, This is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of us. I took time to explain. So that's the word of the Lord unto us this, this evening. I want you to read that word to yourself seven times, verse six. Say it to your prophesy to yourself. Some of you are not even saying it. I say you, I, I say say it to yourself. I didn't say read it to yourself. Say it, you are Zerubbabel. Put your name there. Seven times. <laughs> this is the word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of the Lord. This is the Lord, word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This is the word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. This is the Lord, word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but my spirit, says the Lord. 
This is the word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but my spirit says, Lord. This is the word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but my spirit says, Lord. This is the word of the Lord to Daniel. Not by might, not by power, but by my spirit says, the Lord of hosts. And shout hallelujah. So, by the Spirit of the Lord, how was the Spirit of the Lord helping them to the prophets? When the Spirit wants to help you, He will talk to you. Remember, I've taught you here before. If you have not had the Spirit or heard from the Spirit, honestly, you are not getting help. Because if he will help you, he will talk to you. He will talk to you whether through dreams, visions, whether by the promptings of your spirit, he will talk to you in some way or the other. And when the spirit is helping you, great mountains will turn into flat plains. That's one. I want to talk a little bit about the glory of God. Because what we want to do this night now is from the glory dimension. This morning the word of the Lord came to me. And uh, Two things spoke to me about the glory of God this morning. As sweet as honey, as pure as the glory. And later on he said to me, think glory. Because the dimension from which we're receiving the supplies and the miracles From the dimension of the glory. Now, look, go to Revelation 21. Revelation 21. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. First of all, we have established that through the prophecy will help you. The Spirit of God will help you. And we are creating the atmosphere for the glory. Because from that atmosphere, possibilities will become realities. This night. I, I can't even feel your expectation. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, had done for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. So, now I've told that the glory of God is the manifest presence of God. We'll see it later on in, in, in chapter 21. It's the manifest presence of God. So when it says, the tabernacle of God is with men, in other words, the glory of God is present. You even see it, you know, um, let, me, let me just read on. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said, right, for these words are faithful and true. Now, if you read um, to verse 9, then one of the seven angels who had seven bowls filled with seven last place came to me and talked with me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain, showed me the city, the great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from God, having the glory of God. That city had the glory of God. And that was, that city 
was the glory of God was the atmosphere of that city. And it says, and I say the glory of God is the manifest presence of God. And it says, when the tabernacle of God is with men, in other words, when God has manifested his dwelling with men, the Bible says, he will wipe away tears, there shall be no more death, there shall be no sorrow, there shall be no crying. The, gl- the glory of God will abolish these things in your life. No more death, no more sorrow. Everything will just be flourishing. Fat and flourishing. In the name of Jesus. No more pain. For the former things have passed away. So if you go to verse 11. That city had the glory of God. Her light was like a most precious stone. Like a jasper stone. Clear as crystal. Now if you jump again. Um, go to verse 22. In verse 21, it says, The twelve gates were twelve pearls. Each individual gate was of pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, like transparent glass. Okay? But I saw no temple in it, for the Lord God Almighty and the Lamb are its light, are its temple. The city had no need of the sun, of the moon to shine in it. For the glory of God illuminated it. The lamp is his light. Now look at this, the use of all the sins. 24. And the nations of those who are saved shall walk in the light of that glory. Did you not grab what I just said? The nations of those who are saved shall walk in its light. The glory of God was that light. He says the nations of those who are saved will walk in the light. In other words, we can walk in the light of the glory. We can walk. In fact, actually, when he says the part of it just like shining light that shines brighter and brighter to the perfect day, he's talking about the radiation that's coming from, you know, from God Himself. We walking in the fullness of that radiation that's coming from the throne of God. Now he's talking about us walking in the light of the glory. It says the nations of those who are saved. So it is God's intention for us to walk in his glory. It is God's intention for us to walk in his light. That word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. When you see light, it speaks of glory. Arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Darkness shall come upon the earth and gross darkness upon the people, but upon you the light, the light, I mean the glory of God will arise, and his glory will be seen upon you. And you know what? When darkness is coming, we have our own supernatural lighting system. That means what is happening in the world doesn't affect us. You see, when we are dwelling under the glory, it is regardless of the atmospheric conditions outside where we, we dwell. So He wants us. You know, the Bible says, They that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. During one of our broadcasts, I was explaining this, you know, this lesson. In Isaiah 2, the Bible says, Over all that glory was a defense. In other words, the glory above the children of Israel, it gave them shadow, you know, when they were leaving Egypt. In the, in the, in the, in the sun, it gave them shadow. So, that glory became a shadow for them. And it says, They that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. The shadow of the Almighty is the glory of God. And in other words, the secret place is the root into the glory of God. Because when you pray, shut yourself in, your Father who sees in the secret will reward you in the open. So they that dwell in the secret place. In other words, if you are going to abide under the shadow of the Almighty as you are walking from the wilderness, as you are walking through the wilderness, as you are walking through the hazes and the confusion and all, as in your day-to-day life, if you are going to dwell under the shadow of the Almighty, if you are going to experience the manifest glory of God as Israel experienced on their way from Egypt, 
He says the key to it is the secret place. In other words, it's your place of private communion that is the door to your experiencing his glory every day of your life. In other words, you can walk in an anointing that is of a higher quality than your communion. You can't experience his presence beyond the quality of your communion with him. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. So the nations of those who are saved will walk in his light. Now, how many of us are saved here? He wants us that light. I'm going to walk in the light as you were in the light. I'm going to shine like the light of salvation. O oh Lord, be my light and be my salvation. All I want to be is in the light. Now, now he says, the kings of the earth bring their glory and honor. In other words, lower glories submit to higher glories. The kings of the earth bring their glory and their honor into it. The gates of that city of glory shall not be shut at all by day. There is no night there. (laughs) In other words, in the atmosphere of glory, there is no night. In other words, everything is alive every time. Everything can happen anytime. And Bible says, they shall bring the glory and the honor of the nations into it. The glory of the nations talks about material wealth. That's why when Israel was walking on that glory, they, they collected material wealth from several nations. Houses they did not build, vineyards they did not plant, and all that and all that. They dispossessed the Egyptians. But they shall by no means enter, in, enter it anything that they found. Or causes an abomination, or is a lie. That's the intensity of the glory of God. When that glory is manifested, I've said to you, the glory is the storehouse of supplies. But my God shall supply your needs according to His riches in glory. Everybody about their riches in the glory. Yes, and their riches in the glory. So, when the glory is manifested, all those possible. In other words, if you're walking in the glory, the tendency is that the nations will gravitate towards you. Kings will honor you. Because you know why? You are walking in a higher glory. One of the people, one of the people who walked in the experience of the manifest glory was Solomon. You remember? When Solomon was dedicating the temple, the Bible says, as in the glory of God came down like a cloud, and the priest, I sense the presence of God as I'm talking. Folks, uh, we're getting into that miracle follow now. So that the priest could not stand to minister. Are you listening to me? Now Solomon it was. The Bible says, the kings from different nations, they came with gifts and everything to seek audience with Solomon. You know why? Lower glories bow to higher glories. If you want to enter into the fullness of supernatural provision, you've got to do it from the dimension of his glory. Well, Revelation 21 is talking about at the end of time. But there is a factor in God that is called walking in the powers of the age to come. In other words, we can taste in, of the glories of the future. That's what we want to taste this night. How many of you are hungry for that glory? Psalm 63. Let's begin to 
bring everything together. Psalm 63. Psalm 63. Oh God, you are my God. Early will I seek you. I told you that somebody was asking me the other day, how do I, you know, I seem to have a lot of opportunity, but it just fizzles out every time before the thing manifests fully. How, what do I do? How do I grab? I say, ah, I've told you about breakthrough dynamics. When you're at the point of breakthrough, don't take no for an answer. When you're at the point of breakthrough, maintain intercession. For example, this night, I usually like to sleep like five, six hours. But this night, I just had a dream and I woke up after sleeping for two hours. And it was like I slept for six hours. I just continued intercession. Because there are some prayers. The best time to pray it is early. <laughs> early will I seek thee. As in, you understand? At 3 a.m., you hit the ground. You understand? You hold that ground. Having done all to stand, stand. How do you stand? You wear everything, but that's not the end. It says, and praying with all prayer and supplication. If people think the standing is in the wearing, no, you can wear and sit down. <laughs> Ephesians 6. The armor of the breastplate of righteousness and all that. That's not that you are putting all those things. That's not mean you are standing. That's cloth. Are you standing now? All of you, are you standing? You're all sitting down. Are you not wearing cloth? So you can put on the breastplate of righteousness, everything, and sit down. <laughs> but Bible says, having done all to stand, stand. How do you stand? He goes on to say it from verse 19. He says, praying with all prayer and supplication. So, where do you stand in the place of prayer? So, oh God, you're my God. So, when you're at the point of breakthrough, folks, that's, ah, that's not time for sleep. Oh. You will sleep after the breakthrough. <laughs> Just now. When you break through, you will sleep very well. <laughs> but when you are pursuing that contract, listen, you go, I go for the negotiation. Hmm? Possess it in the night. <laughs> Before you go in the morning. I was explaining a number of things yesterday to people. I used two examples the um, experience that Brother Chris had with his accident and I was explaining how that day I was on Friday I was praying or is it Thursday or so I was praying throughout the whole day and as I was praying I saw a vision and somebody was standing and that person opened the door a lady in fact and ran and launched at the person pushed, I mean, violently. And I began to, you know, rebuke because I knew this was not normal. I didn't know what it meant, but I knew something was happening that was, you know, uh, out of place and out of order. And I began to really say, every, you know, demonic interference is displaced. And, um, and the Lord began to show me other things. You know, I saw uh, that, uh, you know, what we call a traumatic am amputation. Um, some things that happen in accidents and all that. So, you know, I prayed all that in the evening when I got out of the my closet. I saw all the calls and, you know, all the emergency that were trying to reach me and all that. And uh, we prayed he made a full recovery. And then another one um, was um, Sister Becky. She was, you know, leaving work one day and entered apparently what was a one chance you know, and then they had collected her items, laptops, bags and all, I mean, phones and all that. But a strange boldness came over her and she began to rebuke them and scold them, you know, and uh, 
bring my laptop, bring my this. And the people, the, actually, the car did not even move while, while they were inside doing all this. Because I mean, usually they would have zoomed off. <laughs> you know. So, we bring my phone, bring my this. This one pointed to that. But the child brought everything. She got down from the car, scolded them, and left. See, when she now came to herself, she was vibrating. <laughs> she didn't know what, <laughs> what came on. You know, amazing, you know. But a few days before that time, I was praying in my, in my time of prayer. And I saw that somebody was trapped in a car. I was seeing it from outside. The person was trapped in the car. The windows were wound up. The person was trying to hit the window, you know, and all that. You know, like a kidnap situation. And um, the people outside were crying, you know. So I began to pray against kidnap. We were praying against her and all that. And then, you know, when she told me the story, I, I just knew that that was what I was, you know, praying against and all that. Now, what I'm saying to you is, is when things are seen in the spirit and seen a, a, ahead of time and taken care of in the spirit, what happens is this. Many times, the event still happens, but their outcomes are different. So, when you are going for that contract, if you stand in the spirit, many times the obstacles and the things that could have derailed it, it will still see happen, but you will have a different outcome. So, oh God, you are my God. Some scriptures one. Early will I seek you. My soul tests for you. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. So, what I'm showing you here is the state of hunger that drove David to seek the glory. Because the glory always goes with the power. For thine is the kingdom. The power and the glory. Forever and ever. The glory always goes with the power. So it says, my soul test. I don't know how many people are tested this evening. That's why I didn't want us to praise that time. I want you to check yourself and put yourself in the right temperature. Who is critically in need of the hand of the Lord this night? Get thirsty for the glory. My flesh longs for you. In a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. To see your power and your glory. See your power and your glory. Another thing that happens in the glory, it seems the glory is an atmosphere. The other day I was I was just praying and I saw a vision. I saw, you know, um one of the frontline ministers and and you know the wife was ministering. I think it was Apostle Maldonado. So I just was just seeing a vision. I think the Lord was just trying to explain something to me. And it's like in that vision, my eyes open in the vision. <laughs> so when my eyes open in the vision, I will see that as she was preaching, the whole place was hazy. As in the atmosphere was hazy, was cloudy, it was misty. And then when my eyes close in the vision, I will not see that again. Then it opens again, I will see it. <laughs> in other words, as you are here now, when your eyes are open, you will see things. You know, because it is tangible. It is tangible. It is. It is. It is. You know, it is real. So listen. It seems when the look at. Let's go to Revelation twenty-one. I'm so excited. I hope you are getting. Your, the temperature of your hunger is rising. I remember it was um, Juliet's testimony last um, amazing testimony, Sister Juliet, how 
just one of the midweek services also. I came and I just felt that day to break oppositions and obstacles that were holding people back. And um, a business that they had been doing and could not, nothing happened, was on, in limbo on pause. The following day, that, in fact, that, you know, kind of left it aside. The following day, I think it was Thursday or so, the person called her. Not only, I mean, the business was accelerated to the finish. And from that business, she got money and bought a car. Now, that car, she had sold for it in September. You understand? The month of it. She had sold a seed in September for, towards that car. I was telling you on Sunday, I got an email from Canada. Regina said, these are my September testimonies. The month of it. Ah, don't allow the children of the kingdom to come from the east and the west and you that you are. <laughs> I mean, she shared a bit, 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 after my girl, I, could, I could read her, her testimonies. I answer. Because in the spirit there's no distance. Now, in 27, and it was talking about the glory, the glory, 21 ended, chapter 21 ended in verse 27. Now, chapter 22 started. And he showed me in that same city a pure river of water of life. Now, one of the things you will notice is the word pure. Remember, pure gold. The streets of the city were pure gold. Now, the streams of the city were a pure river of water of life. And I told you what the Lord said to me this morning. As sweet as honey, as pure as the glory. In other words, the highest states or the purest forms of spiritual things are products of the realm of glory. It seems to me, if you want me to explain it, this is how I put it. This is just my own you know, uh, uh, twist on it. It seems as if this water was a condensate from the atmosphere of the glory. In other words, when the water, when the atmosphere, when the glory in the atmosphere condenses, it produces pure water. Just like when water vapor, the rivers we have, remember? They, they come from the atmosphere. Uh, yes, the rivers come from the atmosphere. In other words, in the context of the glory, there is a high concentration of the life of God at work. There is a high concentration. Clear as crystal, proceeding from the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the middle of his street on either side of the river was the tree of life, which bore twelve fruits, each tree yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. That's why the Lord is giving us words for nations every time. You know, you know, this word came to me sometime two years ago there about I was just praying and I saw the word and their leaves were for the healing of the nations and today God is speaking words to us to nations concerning nations all over the whole place so in the midst of the glory the life of God is thick and the life of God is strong and I hear you say hallelujah. So how hungry are you? My question is, what did you come here for this night? What did you come here for this night? I'll read Ephesians 1.15 and then we'll read them. Um, Proverbs 28.7 and Isaiah 1.19 
three scriptures. Ephesians one. Verse 16. Do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, remember he calls him the Father of glory because he was switching into the dimension of glory. He says, therefore, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the sins, do not cease to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know I want you to take note of that know what is the hope of his calling what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the sense in other words that you may know what are the riches of the glory now the glory is the storehouse of supplies is a place of supplies but the way to operate the glory is by revelation. That you may know. What I said during one of the, our recent broadcasts, one of the episodes, I said something. That you can know your way into abundance. That you may know what are the riches of his glory. That you may know. Can we say together that you may know? So, what, in other words, whatever is in the glory, you need to know. Now, when the glory of God manifests this evening now, you will need to know. For example, now, I know already because of what the Lord showed me before I came in this evening. I know some of the things that's going to be in the glory cloud that's going to be manifested here this evening now. I already know. I, I know some things. I know some things. And I'm so glad for you. You see, in the glory, we operate by revelation. So in other words, if the glory is here and you don't know anything, you, 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 it will pass you by. You've got to know. The children of Israel were walking under that cloud of glory. Yet they did not know that the provision was in that cloud of glory. When, the God, when God wanted to give them manna, the Bible says, and the glory of the Lord arose from the east. And the Lord rained down manna. Let me tell you about this night. No, 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 no. That you may know the eyes, the spirit of wisdom and revelation. That you may know. Can we say together? You can know your way into wealth. Did you see how Jesus operated when he wanted to feed them with five loaves? Bible says he told Philip, "Where he told them, where can we get bread to feed them?" Bible says this he said to test them, because he himself knew. You have ever read that scripture? He himself did what? You can know your way into abundance. He himself knew. Okay, look at Mary. Wine has finished. He came to them. Whatsoever he tells you to do, do it. What was he saying? In other words, whatsoever he reveals to you, do it. That's why he, he always knew. Listen, I said in that broadcast that the distance between you and your next supply is not in time. The distance between you and your next supply it's not geographical. The distance between you and your next supernatural supply is revelation. The distance between you and your next supernatural supply is revelation. How many times have I shared with you here? I'll be praying. I'll see checks drop in front of me. I'll be praying. I'll see envelopes of money drop in front of me. And one or two days, one week, it happens. These days, I want to receive the money in the spirit because I know when I get in the spirit, it's settled. He himself knew. So in other words, to operate 
in supernatural abundance, you have to have supernatural knowing. You have to have supernatural knowing. So in the realm of, like, when the glory of God is manifest, folks, this is very, very important because I'm teaching us cutting edge truths on how to operate in this, in this. When the glory of God is manifest, when the glory of God is real, You have to know. Now that's one. When you know, you have to obey. Let's say together. Knowing, then obeying. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. So whatsoever he reveals to you, do it. In this realm, you have to. You see, when you're working in supernatural, you have to take a risk in the material world. You have to take, that, that's just the way it is. Because you don't walk in supernatural by sitting in the boat. You walk in supernatural by stepping out onto the sea. So, there's supply in the glory. You've got to know it and then you've got to obey it. And lastly, the glory is going to manifest this evening. And it's already manifesting. I want us to pull the glory down. How many of you are ready to pull it down this evening? This is the service for it. This evening we're going to praise like your remaining future depends on it. How many of you are ready to bring that miracle down? You understand? You're ready to... Listen, we have done this thing here before many times. I mean, you, you understand? We're not strangers to these things. You understand? We are only escalating it now. Proverbs 28, 7. This is one scriptural discovery. One scriptural discovery. Actually, 28, 12. I want us to read that scripture together. Let's rise up on our feet and, and read that scripture together. I don't know what, but there are certain things that is in the glory cloud this evening and the Lord showed me. Mando sahandalabado, jibradahalabadaba. Landa Zukura Badaba Liki Hukubusu Kataraba Shiraba. How many of you are, 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 are hungry for new levels? You know what? Let me tell something. There is an old glory and there's a new glory. If there's nothing like that, he will never say from glory to glory. Proverbs 28, 12. Everybody read. 1, 2, 3, go. Just stop there. That's just what I want. When the righteous rejoice, there is great glory. We have said so much and thought so much about how worship and praise brings that atmosphere of glory. But Proverbs is helping us to amplify that truth again. When the, the word rejoice there means to jump for joy. I see to jump for joy. That's what it, it, it means. It's a Hebrew word that's pronounced alas. <laughs> Actually, alas. A-L-A-S. <laughs> you know, it means to jump for joy. When the righteous rejoice, there is great glory. You know, when the priests, Second Chronicles 5.12, were together as one to make one sound to the Lord, the Bible says the temple was filled with smoke because they sang and the Levites were the singers, all over Asaph and Heman and Jedutum with their sons and their brethren. 
stood at the east end of the altar, having seen by strings and harp with them, 120. It did, it came to pass. When the singers presented, give me the next verse, stop, you know. So that the priest, please, what maneuvering are you doing on that system? Give me 13 again. They lift, and when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying, for he is good. They praised the Lord. They praised the Lord. For he is good. For his mercy endures forever. That the house, the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud. Next verse. So that the priest could not continue ministering because of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. I want us to position ourselves. Let the choir come up. We're going to praise God this night. Please let's let's take positions. Let's let's take positions. Please. This is serious matter now. This is a, you understand? This is a serious matter now. Take up positions. I, I don't want anyone distracted. I want us to sing our best praise songs. And I'm talking about praise songs, not just dancing songs. I'm talking about songs that exalt. You remember? Lyrics are important in this one now. I want you to praise him. You know, t- t- I told you that tonight we're not, we need to touch something this night. I want you to listen. Forget everything. Eh? Praise like you have never done it before. As in praise like you are standing before his throne. And the praise really can be fast or slow. I mean, really. People need to be doing consultation now. I want us to corporately hold on to that glory and bring it down. This is what the Lord showed me. This morning, As I woke up after I had a song. I actually had to record the song since I know I'll forget it too. I had a song. Fresh. It came to me as a song. This word came as a song. All debts to the Father. Give it to the Father. So one of the things that's going to happen this night is debts. All debts to the Father. Give it to the Father. Mm. Another word the Lord said to me is creative genius. So there is impartation for creativity. Are you using me? Those are some things that are going to be pregnant in this atmosphere now. Hmm. Miracles. Miracles. Hallelujah. So I want you to remember Focus your mind on Jesus. Imagine you standing before the throne of grace. You are standing before the master. Not before anybody. Okay? You are standing before the master. Forget about every other thing. And face Jesus. We've done this many times before. 
and just honor him. Manda hakabalaba. Let's just start by praying in tongues. La kaparada bashida baba sada. Manda baba 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 some of you will know things you will know things you will know things the Lord will open your eyes to see things there's nothing that you need that's not in this atmosphere. Listen, there's healing in this atmosphere. There's healing. I saw somebody with a a lump that disappeared. I saw one with a lump that disappeared. There is healing in this atmosphere. La ba 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 no, 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 no. Juan. La baba zanda, la baba balabra, la baba. Ba. This song. Behold the Lamb. Do you know it? Behold the Lamb. Upon the white throne, here is love in majesty. Just continue. Faithful and true. Can someone get us the lyrics? It's a powerful song that's coming to my spirit now.
lamb one more time. on Jesus. Let's 
let's play something. Oh, I stand, I stand in all of you. I stand, I stand in all of you. Holy are happening already. Miracles are happening already. Oh, love you. I stand. I stand in all of you. de papazo onda halabadeya azo bobo do robo shenda la baba 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 e de kere beda habado homo sada la baba 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 bande ya baba baba e de de babo zondo ro do bobo ale ye de badi bodo ye de badi bodo ye de bare ri bado aga baba baba e ri bare o de bare Everybody, oh, everybody, everybody, oh, everybody, everybody, oh, everybody, there's a gara body, everybody, but oh, everybody, he's a body, because that that a body, la ba ba ba, la ba ba ba, la ba ba ba, sin da ra ba da gara ye, oh, the abado, bozika da ba li ba de, she di ba do. Ozi kalabara ba, ozi kalabari ba, sunuro boli ba, eri bari ba, eri bari ba, oli 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 bari ba, asandala bari, asandala bari, asandala bara ba 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 ba, touch him, kara ba ba ba, touch him, maka ba ba ba, sunuro ba 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 ba. Ye lege de de de, oh sigara la ba 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 ba, oh sigara la ba 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 ba. Ye sigiri la ba 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 ba, ye sigiri la ba 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 ba. Ye ba 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 ba, ma ba 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 ba. Possess, kari kiri basan, ole ye kisan dara ba 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 ba, ori ye da la ka da ka da ka da ka da. Hey, I see a door just open now. Uh, a door just open now. I'm telling you, I saw that now. A door just open now. Malahabado robo sinda laba, alakazinda laba ba 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 ba. Folks, pray now. Pray now. Pressing now. Pressing now. Pressing now. Ande seketa laba laba. Ede laba ba ba sonere. Eshi keda laba sonorobo. 
I saw a swung open. Manda hala baba baba baba. Yes, and alaba. Open doors. Open doors. Aleke sokoro baba 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 baba. Ereke zede la kandara katalaba. Ereke sandala baba 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 baba. Yeah, be desperate, be desperate, be desperate. Arakasuka Maba Baba 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 Just, just be quiet. Turn your attention to Jesus. Turn your attention to Jesus. Shut up. Lift up your hands. There's movement. There's movement. There's movement. Just connect with the Spirit of God. It's moving among us now. I want to hear that song on sax properly. Whatever it is. I see hands elongating. Where you can reach in the natural, the Lord is empowering you to reach. He's empowering you to reach. See grace released in somebody's direction. I see not difficult cases are being cracked open. I'm just relaying it as the Lord is showing me. In the name of Jesus, things that have defied solution, they are broken open. They are cracked open. I see someone is like you are returning a serve in a tennis match. Uh, it means the ball has been served to you and maybe up to now you have not been able to respond, you've not been able to do, but now you are empowered. You are empowered. It's working. Eyes are being opened now. Eyes are being opened now. I want you to play. Speak. 
Sweetheart, the Lord is opening your eyes. He's opening your eyes. Father, thank you. The Lord is opening your eyes. Focus on Jesus now. Focus on Jesus. Focus on Jesus. Somebody playing sax, somebody playing organ or something, or pipe. Talk to Jesus. Pathways are open. Pathways are open. Oh, Master. Shame is destroyed. Shame is destroyed. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. be your prayers are answered. Your prayers are answered. But I be someone's ear is being opened to know. I see expansion. Someone has been expanded. I see another person being set up for an opportunity. You're, you're going to receive a call. The wealth releasing angels are work. They are work. For someone is 
perfection in the area of marriage. I just saw that now. Married relationship. Release now. Now, you know what the Lord just showed me? I told you before I came here this morning, I He said, all depths to the Father. It came as a song. All depths to the Father. Give it to the Father. So we're going to give our debts to the Father. And the Lord just showed me now to burn it. Symbolic. So whatever debts, you put them on a piece of paper. And you're going to hand it into my hands as a symbolic way of giving it to the Father. And uh, I'm going to take it back and burn it up. As I was just praying, Lord, open my eyes to see. Strike matches and strike fire. As specific word today. And it is both debt that is owed and debt that you are owed. In other words, if you are owed, we liquidate it. If you are owing, we cancel it. That's how the administration is going this time. Start writing that. All debts to the Father. Give it to the Father. There's healing in this atmosphere. I'm going to minister to the sick. There's the miracles of physical miracles in this atmosphere. Apart from financial miracles. Everything. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Zukoti shake it up. Lababati kiri kasudo. Hallelujah. 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 Shiba baba 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 sada baba. Let's continue the atmosphere. Watch what you're writing. Mandele baby zere baba. Hallelujah, 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 Let me have baskets here. Two baskets, two offering baskets. Put them on, on stool. In front here. Holy God, Holy God, Holy God, Holy God, Holy God. I stand. You see, the Lord said to me this morning, He came as a song. All depths to the Father. If I open my phone now, I sang it into the phone to keep the chin. You need to elevate it. Put it on something. One on that side, one on this side. (laughs) 
and I like the way the word came. He said, all, all debts, all, 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 all. Shady There is victory in this atmosphere. That's what the Lord showed me also. There is victory overcoming. What is your expectation this night? I wanted to also write it, you know, where you're writing. What is your expectation? I mean, what, 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 what were you expecting? Just put your expectation down. What is your expectation in this fresh miracle service? Is it? This atmosphere is thick. I remember we were in a meeting in Kogi State, and a lady took up her prayer request, waving it on the Lord. And suddenly the Lord opened her eyes. She saw two angels walking. And the angels came to her, they were coming towards her and said, Today we are going to attend to this prayer request today. I see there's an intensity of that presence around you. If you can, you can separate, you know, the depth from the expectation. So it goes into because I'm go- I'm going to burn the depths. Symbolic way. That's a prophetic act. Oh, you know, that was the last thing on my mind. I never even thought about depth, as in <laughs> absolutely beyond. I just woke up in the morning and I had the song. <laughs> in other words, God has us in mind. Mom. All those words I mentioned are things I released. I'm going to see the manifestation. As I've seen many, many manifestations here. Many, very many. I saw somebody raising up hands in victory. I'm telling you. In victory. There's victory in this. There's triumph. There's triumph in this atmosphere. There's triumph in this atmosphere. Another thing Lord showed me was papers. So there's something that has to do with paper approval that is present in this atmosphere also. I saw somebody reading a bunch of papers 
you know, like documents, documents, documents. Yes, Lord. So release that also in the name of Jesus. And I hear the words crack. There are things that have been difficult, but they are cracking now. I hear the words crack in the spirit. They have been difficult, difficult situations, difficult circumstances, but it's cracking. It's cracking. It, the integrity of the opposition is, is disintegrating. Is disintegrating. Is disintegrating. Manda Baba Basada. There's a crack in the room of the spirit. There's a crack in the room. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There are words. There are words. Any words that relate to you, just take it and stand in it. Take it and stand in it. Now, what we're going to do now is this. Last Wednesday, we made our metal on pledges. But eventually, you are not here last Wednesday. This is how it's going to go. In this, these two meetings are targeted at financial empowerment for metal. You know, we opened metal on giving this November, November, December, the last phase of metal on giving. So, and what you are going to give is what I'm empowering you with. So, last Wednesday, we will make pledges. So, I just, that's what I just wanted to do. Make pledges. Be bold. If you have not done that, be bold. Do that this evening. Because as you do that and put in my hands, I'm releasing the supply to you with the other hand. That's, that's why we're, we're doing these miracle services. Because we're releasing the provision that God is going to use to build what we're building. Okay? So, that's the final instruction for those of us who are not here last um, and the Lord will surprise us I'm telling you he will surprise us we have come this far by the help of the Lord and we're going to go towards the finish point by his help so look at November and December and put something so Lord, this is your project. I know you started it. You remember how the name Metalon came? Before there was ever any stone on top of another. This place was bush. And the Lord said the name will be Metalon. So it's his project. Like what you see. And the Lord says it is not by might, it's not by power. So don't pledge by your might or your power. Just pledge by the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit in you inspire you. It is by the Spirit of the Lord. Okay? So we do that now. And then we begin to hand me the request, the depth, and the pledge. Okay? One by one, I would like to put my hands on the hands of everybody here this night. Because what is in this atmosphere now? We're going to connect and release it as we make contact. I'm telling you, there are things being displayed in the realm of the Spirit. There are some of us that it is the knowing that we're going to have from here that's leading us into the next level of our world. I see something being displayed in the realm of the Spirit. Something being displayed in the realm of the Spirit. Okay, so if you're, if you're ready, let's, let's come this way. We are debt to be liquidated or cancelled. Your Listen, I shared that testimony with you. How that the following day, they called Sir Juliet is here. They called her. And for a number of other people like that. I want you to do this as an act of faith. Forget about me. I want you to put in your mind that you are dropping into the hands of Jesus. 
And Jesus is standing here right this moment. They're dropping into his hands. I mean, why would God wake me up in the morning and teach me a new song about death? Last week, I didn't mention nothing about death because it, it's not in my mind. <laughs> it's not in my mind. If, honestly, if that word not come to me this morning, I will not, it will not even cross my mind. Father, we thank you. Let's, 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 let's come. The depths, so the depths are inside this. This is the depth. Okay? Yeah, depth. Okay? That's issue. Okay. That will be inside here. Okay, so you just agreed in the name of Jesus. And the answers are released. Amen. So you put the depth here. I think we need a third um, box for those who have not pledged. Give us a third basket. For those who have not pledged, those of us who have pledged before, we can. This is for depth. This is for expectation. This is both. Okay, if it is both, it will go into the depth container. Because I, I was born all the depths. Release in the name of Jesus. Amen. Expectation. Answers are released in the name of Jesus. And depth. Maintain the attitude of worship. Very, very important. Corporate worship. Focus your minds and your, 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 your concentration on Jesus. And forget about me. Forget about the person beside you. I want you to say it's my turn. It's my turn. Say it. Say it. It is my turn. Oh, it's my turn. 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 La banda baso In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to pray over financial instruments your wallets your cards if you have checkbook just anything that signifies your fine if you don't have anything just put your hand on your pocket i want to pray over that now i'm stepping into another realm of authority now i'm coming out in the spirit realm now the lord said to me made him rule lord of his house and ruler of his substance in the I step now let's let's make that contact and uh, quickly 
I'll pray for that and I'll pray for the sick and then um, miracles because I saw healing miracles I saw a swelling disappear you know so I just knew to minister to the sick Labrando Hokobo Santa Labadaya Zupanda Baba. Are we ready? Everybody, if you are doing that, let's do that quickly. It's my bring my wallet. It's in the pocket of my bag. Because this atmosphere is loaded. Mandahaba Sola. If you can just raise it up. Father, I step into the authority you have given me. I come out in the realm of the Spirit. And Lord, we know your financial angels are here ready to execute. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I decree a flow of manifested blessings in their direction. Let their baskets be full. Full measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. And when you are saying amen, you better say a good one. In the name of Jesus, let there be abundance. Let there be increase. Let there be super abundance. Everything that has dried up receives life now. Every supply that stopped is replaced by seven different. In the name of Jesus, I re establish connections, I re establish flows. Lord, let money hit their accounts. Let money hit their accounts. Let money hit their accounts in the name of Jesus. Oh, let ideas hit their heads. Let ideas hit their heads. In the night season, let their reins be open. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let the river, let, let money flow towards them like a river. In the name of Jesus. An ever-expanding river. Lord, let the gear be changed upwards. Let the momentum change in your favor. Oh, I release momentum in your direction. Financial momentum in your direction. Financial momentum in your direction. Oh, take it now. Take it now. I'm going to count one to three. Just get set. Once I count to three, you step into the words I've spoken. Lord, debts that are owed are paid up. Debts being old are supernaturally cancelled or provision is made for payments in the name of Jesus. Lord, I break the yoke of debts. By the reason of the anointing, the yoke is broken. Lord, we have given them to you, so we are not carrying them any longer. All depths, 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 all depths. In the name of Jesus, the creditors pay up. Malababa basanda halababa baba, lebre de baba zonda halababa, laga baba 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 baba. Yes, Lord. Supernatural release, la baba, unexplainable increase. The explainable one, the unexplainable one, supernatural deposits into the accounts. Malabusa handaraba, financial favor. They will call you. They say they don't know why, but we cancel it. They will tell you take the remaining and go. Malababa hakababa sandaraba, dalakaza hakandaraba baba baba. Yes, I speak release. I speak release. Every financial prison door is open. I speak release. I speak release. I speak release. I speak release. In the name of Jesus, 
Lord, you showed me this morning new territories. Lord, now I decree new financial territories. New financial territories. New financial territories. New financial territories. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we displace every opposition. We displace every opposition. I displace every opposition. I displace every opposition. I displace every giant. We possess our new territories. We possess our new territories. In the hundreds of millions. In the tens of millions. And in the millions in the name of Jesus. Lord, more millionaires are established. More millionaires are established. That is the word of the Lord. More millionaires are established. In the name of Jesus. Lord, they are blessed in their storehouses. I say your storehouse is blessed. Your storehouse is blessed. It will never run dry. It will never run dry. In the name of Jesus. I'll count one to three. I want you to use your mouth to take it. One. Two. Three. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Step into it in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. Mamba zuka handalaba. Release in the name of Jesus. Shame is being wiped off. Some of you, you, you are, it's like you are babbling because you don't even know how to answer. But that shame is wiped off. That shame is taken away. It is replaced by double honor. I, I see someone in the realm of the spirit is, and, and it's like saliva was drooling from his mouth. You know, that, that's shame. You know, you, you, can, you can't even talk again. When David appeared before Ashish, you know, uh, the king of Gath, he, he began to drool like a madman. You know, because of, you know, uh, his life was at risk and at danger. You know, in the areas where there is shame, you, you, you can't even answer appropriately. You, you can't even speak appropriately as a child of God. Oh, in, that, in those places you are honored. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Quickly, I just want to pray quickly for every um, anybody that is sick. Just quickly come out to the front. Any, you have any sickness, any, any you know, um, quickly just come to the front. Very fast. If there's anybody like that, quickly, I'll just, I just want to pray in this atmosphere. Let's, let's keep praying in tongues. Let's just keep praying in tongues. Let's all hold our hands together. If we come to the front. Quickly, quickly. Manda basanda halaba. Just take your miracle immediately because there's healing in this atmosphere. Patuku sakatalaba. Patuku sahalabrada. Zabrada la baba baba. Alakate. Just pray in tongues. The rest of us at the back, let's you know, stretch our hands towards them and just pray. Mabuzu hukunda halaba. Jebra da la baba baba basandalaba. The power of God is, is present. I sense that electricity on my spine. I will just put my hand on your hand. Instructions are simple. When I put my hand on your hand, you lay it on your part of body that is concerned. And then you, you take actions of faith. You know how we do these things. You take actions of faith. Check your body. As you check your body, you get to the back there and let us know.
the power of the Holy Spirit. 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 Your hand is healed because I saw your hand being healed. You know, I didn't even know that you were touching hand. Father, in the name of Jesus, yes, put it there now. La kapasuda harabalaba. Yes, Lord. Kapra busu handalaba. Completely, completely, I rebuke pain. I rebuke swellings. I rebuke, you know, every infirmity in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Manda Whatever is missing is supplying. Whatever is defective is repaired. In the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel the power of God. You know, you feel it tangibly. Like cold, like heat, like vibration, electricity. Yes, Lord. Now take those actions of faith now, you know. Take the, do something, do something. Do something, do something. Malabranda zikalaba. Check it, check it. Malabudu hukubu sandalaba. Yes, Lord, bend. You know, sh- you know, do something. Take your healing by force. Take your healing by force. Labuzu kandara hakadabaladaba. Ladabada habarababa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Rakanda baba baba baba. Shibrinda baba 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 sandalaba. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Manda brada la baba sanda halaba. Jibrinda baba baba. Malla bridi hiki basunda la baba. Raba baba baba. Manda brado hukubushina. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Amen. I want, you know, two, three people from the healing team. Just talk with them. Um, Mr. Just talk with them right now. What do you notice? What, what, do you, what do you see? You know, we take our healings by force. So, folks, great and mighty things. Just a brief chat, not anything. I just want to, I just feel as if I need to know something that has happened here. And just a brief chat. What do, you, what, what do you notice? You know, those of you that uh, quickly wet. Just people from the healing team, just as many as so that we, it can be as brief as possible. Whether four, or five of you, six. I can. What are you guys doing there? Just talk to somebody. What, what was it? And you know, I just anything that I should know about. Just what was it? I just feel we should do that before, before we yes, before we release them. Just a brief chat, not detailed. I mean, just brief. Let's let's know what. In the name of Jesus, the power of the Lord is 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 here. And some of us who have had unusual experiences this evening, please, I want you to make sure you document them now. Hmm? Document them now and drop it at the um um uh help desk. This night, I, I want to know this night, you know, because I knew that tonight was amazing and unusual. Okay, amazing and unusual. So, come on, you know, give me a feedback. If they have talked to you, you can go back to your seat. Those of you who talk to them can come and give me a, 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 a feedback, just briefly. As we prepare our offerings, let's prepare our offerings this night. Pain disappeared. Pain disappeared. Improved eyesight. You know. Um, without squinting. Without squinting. Okay. Improved eyesight. She couldn't read without squinting. That's Oluchi. Pain disappeared. felt the power of God move from the hand down to the palm. Yeah. 
your mouth is hot and uh, your mouth is hot but it was you can sit with the holes okay but your mouth is hot that's healing and it's progressing gradually she had holes in her tooth and as we prayed for her heat you know the power of god came upon her mouth as heat and that healing is progressing just to you know um let us see how easy these things are let's put our offerings together can we celebrate jesus that same power that worked all these miracles pain eyesight you know um and um you know all all the tooth and all that that same power is what is working in your finances let's put our seat together this evening like and like i gave instructions to them last wednesday for those of us who are made i mean made commitments to metal unless as a step of faith you know redeem 10 percent of it as soon as you can at least say lord i'm game all right so um usher please come and carry this this is for bonfire all the debts are liquidated <laughs> you know you know, as I was just praying, I, I didn't come here planning to burn, but as I was just praying about, as I was mentioning debt, I just saw matches struck and become, became fire. <laughs> That's how bonfire came about. As I, I picked it in the spirit, I, it's not like I thought about it. <laughs> okay. This one. Okay. Let me provide. 